Rail661 made a comment in the last video, and I understand that um, that he, my understanding of what his comment was to uh, point out the possible explanation for uh, what would be a good idea about having a gun-free area within this post-apocalyptic marketplace. Um, he stated, and it's a very good point, about the changes in society and how, um, say, the, the frontier west of the Americas, the people were very different than they were nowadays. Um, it, it really spurred on some thought, and I, I really want to thank Ray for that. Because um, what really is different? Uh, in those days, a man was held, uh, and, and a woman was held accountable for their behavior, directly for their answers, and whenever there was a disagreement or a question about honor, things got physical. And it, it started out with uh, sword play, where one person would challenge another one's honor, and then the two of them would go at it with swords. Well, next thing you know, during a sword fight, somebody whipped out a dagger. Well, now they had sword and a dagger, and then so on and so forth, and then it went to firearms, uh, handguns and stuff, to the point where um, there'd be dueling kits and things of that nature. And then um, we've eventually evolved to where now it's what's written on a piece of paper and if one man can beat another man on a piece of paper with the more sly, clever litigation and liability, well that man trumps all. And it ends up creating a very different world. Look for example, um, let's say it's the 1940s and you have a house with a garage and there's a couple of punk kid hoodlums in your garage trying to steal your stuff. What is the difference between how a person would react in the 1940s versus now, and why? It has to do with litigation. You know, back then, the, the man himself would, would turn them kids out on his ear, and he would give them something to remember that situation by. And, uh, you know, nowadays, the, the person's under 18, things are so tight because of perhaps well-meaning laws that have, that have kept child abuse low have a unpleasant side effect of empowering bad young people. So um, it's, it's a very valid point and I definitely understand it and I appreciate you bringing that up. And I, I'm looking forward to, to any sort of continuance that we have on, on this particular topic. Uh, but I see the, the society in, in our particular scenario as, as slowly returning to a, a genuine type harm transaction. So that's where we're at now, and um, any points of view are always welcome. We'll see you all sometime next week. Thanks for watching.